here back on World News, a special envoy from the United States, Arsalan Sulaiman, was among attendees of the Extraordinary Summit of the Organization of Islamic Conference in Jakarta last week. Iqbal Himawan met with him at the Istiqlal Mosque and asked him whether Palestinians and Israelis themselves want two-state solution. Well, to be honest, there are some concerns that we have in terms of... Um, the violence that we're seeing on the ground right now, some of the expansion of the settlements, uh, the lack of transfer in terms of authority for certain areas of, of parts of Area C, which are areas that should be moving towards more Palestinian civilian control. Um, and I think some of these issues, like the settlements and house demolitions, they really call into question whether there is a true commitment to the two-state solution, because uh, as Secretary of State John Kerry has said repeatedly that the window is potentially closing before um, for the two-state solution, for there to be an um, independent and viable Palestinian state within that framework. And so that's why he's, uh, the President and Secretary Kerry have uh, made it a real focus to try to restart negotiations uh, because we want to ensure that there is a lasting solution where you have an independent viable Palestinian state next to a secure and democratic Israeli state. The windows are closing. Can you define more on that? Well, I, I think, you know, as certain uh, facts on the ground change in terms of settlements or in terms of lack of progress in transferring authority to the Palestinian Authority mm -hmm. and even the lack of unity between um, in, in, within the uh, Palestinian Authority itself, I think there are many analysts who say that um, in the future it may not be possible to have a two-state solution that's, which is along the lines that people have envisioned for, for some time. So that's why it's really important to, to have uh, sustained effort towards that goal now. Okay. And then Mr. Suleiman, what is the biggest challenge in empowering the relationship with, between the United States of America with the Muslim countries? Does Israeli actions in Jerusalem recently complicate your mission? I think the biggest uh, obstacle is to overcome misunderstanding and misperceptions. Um, a lot of people don't realize how important and how integrated Muslims are in the United States. Uh, we've had Muslims in the United States since the founding of our country, and they make up a very important part of our country. And the United States has very close relationships with Muslim countries around the world. Indonesia is a very close partner of ours. Um, Turkey, for example, is a NATO ally of the United States. The United States has 16 non-NATO major allies. Half of those, eight of those countries, are Muslim-majority countries. And so I think there's a misunderstanding uh, that sometimes is out there with this construct of the West versus Islam or the West versus East. Uh, I think it's important to recognize that that's an intellectual construct that has no bearing on reality. Mm. That in reality, um, there is no clear between East and West. You have Muslims living in the West. Yeah. You have non-Muslims living in the East. Uh, and so these types of misconceptions and misperceptions, I think, are the biggest obstacle. Once people can see each other as human beings and can fully understand the context and the overall um, pluralism that we have both in the West and that we also have in countries like Indonesia and other countries in the East, um, I think that's a much more stable way of promoting uh, interfaith and international cooperation and relations uh, than some of these constructs which don't have a real strong bearing in reality. Sulaiman graduated from Georgetown University School of Foreign Service as an international security studies major with a certificate in Muslim Christian understanding. He was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana.